Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the stat function. Now, there's the reason I put x.stat there is because there's a stat function in the OS package, which is the one we're going to be looking at. And then there's also a stat function um, method, stat method, sorry, on the file object. And what does the stat function or method give you? They both do the same thing. They return an object called a file info, which gives you information about the size of the file, the mood of the file, permission. You can check if a file exists and some other things. Um, we are specifically going to be using the stat function, not the stat method. Now, if you look at the stat function here in the OS package and the stat method that you get for a file object, they're both the same. The only difference being that the stat function have, has a parameter name string. And the reason why is because if you're going to try and get the stats for a file, you don't have the file. Maybe you, the file doesn't exist. Uh, whereas when you use the one for the method, you already have a file. Now, why would we want to use this? As I said, look at all the stuff you get. You get the name of the file. You can get size of the file, this mo um, file mode, which we're going to look at in a bit. Um, and the nice thing is that we can check if a file exists because remember, if it doesn't exist, we couldn't get a file object for it anyway. So using the OS one, it, we can just pass the name of the file and then check if the file exists. No, once we decide to look into what this file info contains, now remember file info has interface here, has all these other things, the size and so on. But look at that mode from func method that you can call on site file info. If we go in and look at what is file mode, we'll see all these types that are defined, all these constants. And you can see there that um, it gives you information um, that is standard across all operation system. But the important one is um, for us, it's really the being able to tell if something is a file or a directory. There are other ones there, but we don't really care so much about those other ones. We care about if this is a file or a directory. Okay, so now let's jump in and start coding. So we're going to start off by writing some test code. And so I'm going to create a test directory here in our um, code directory, and we're going to create a main program. And all we're going to try and do is just understand how to use the stat function from the OS package. And by that, I mean is we're going to call it with some directory or name of a file that doesn't exist. And then we're going to see what it says. And then we're going to create the file and then look at the output again. And we're going to remove it and create a directory with the same name run the same program and see the difference. So basically we really want to test is what happened when you, you call OS that stat on a file that doesn't exist. What, when you call, what, do, what happens when you call it on a file that exists, but it's a regular file. And what happened when you call it on a, a directory? Okay. And so we're going to be able to see that. And I'm going to speed up the code a little bit here because um, it, it's not a whole lot of code to type. And so let's just run this. And you'll see here, of course, the file doesn't exist. Awesome. So we're just going to get an error and we check that error. And if there's an error, if there's no file, of course, it should give us an error because there's not no information to provide. Now let's create a file called awesome and let's rerun our program again. And now we should expect that it should give us some information about the file because the file does exist. And so when we run it, we see exactly that that there's all this stuff that's available in the file info, but we're going to ignore most of it. The name is there. The size is zero, of course, because we didn't write anything to the file when it was last modified, modified and a bunch of other stuff that's specific to the operating system. Now, you can also see create time and all that stuff, but we're going to ignore that. Now, let's remove this file and create a directory with the same exact name. And then we're going to rerun our program. And now we want to see what it tells us about this directory. And so when we run our program here now, um, we're going to see essentially um, the same information, except that when we look at the size there, um, the size is 68. Now, this is an empty directory. Now, in most operating system, a directory is a file. The only difference between a file and a directory is a directory contain entries to other, file, other files. So a directory is a file, but it just contains entries to other file, whereas a file just contains your data. So if it, that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. It's sort of like more system level programming. And so 
if we sort of lose the directory, we'll see that it is empty, but even though the size is three. Now, remember I said it all for a file, you can, there's this method called is di dir, and you can check to see if something's a dir, is a directory. And of course, if it's not a directory, then it's a regular file. So this is one way of doing it. There's also another way. Um, the other way is to simply get file info that mood, which is what I showed you earlier. And that mood, um, file mode object has um, all these other methods. And so we could switch on that and we can say, well, if this is a directory, then print out a directory. If it's a file, print out a file. And if it's neither one of these, then it must be something else. I'm not going to focus on what a something else is now, but there are other things for this mood bit is a 32 bit value and you can mask and check for other things. And, but we don't care about that. I just wanted to show you yet another way of testing this. And now we could play around with, you know, removing this, um, you know, creating a file, creating symbolic links to file, creating symbolic links to directories. And we can see that oh, it operates this correctly, which is if you have a symbolic link to a file, it tells you as a file. If you have a symbolic link to a directory, it tells you as a directory. But like I said, there are other bits set for that mood um, thing and you can check mood value and you can check to see if not only is this a file, but it's a symbolic link and a whole bunch of other things. There's ways to check if it's a socket, which we're not gonna get into. All right, so now that we've played around with this, let's go over to our application now and fix it. Now remember, what we have is right now is that when you call write, it opens a file and it opens for writing but the file must exist. What happens if we start running this and we don't have a file? So what we really wanna do is call os.stat. If that fails, it means that the file doesn't exist and therefore we are free to create it because it doesn't exist. That's why um, os.stat fail, create it, return an error in other words. And then if it's successful, that means that the file exists, so therefore we should open it. Now, um, you're gonna see, um, I'm gonna go over the code kind of fast here, you can slow it down. But basically, um, if we don't check um, for a nil value, because when we say that OS, um, that's that fail, which means the file into value was nil. And so here, I'm gonna go just say, oh, well, since I, um, I created the file, I'm just gonna go try and check and see if the file is a, directory or a regular file because we don't even though the file might exist we don't want to try and write to a directory so if it's a directory well we, we can't use it right and so but the way the code is organized now is that um, if it fails when the file doesn't exist and it just creates it i just come out and i try to check for a directory and of course this is going to fail because um, i didn't check if file info is nil now, there's a much better way. You can certainly keep the code this way and it sort of work. And you can see it working here. I removed the directory and it sort of work. But it'd probably be better to just move this code around and have a else block and move the code into it. And now, to me, it's a little bit clearer what you're doing. You're saying, if I have an error when I try to start a file, I create it. If I don't get an error, then I know that oh, um, fi is valid and I don't even need the nil check there. I can check if it's a directory. If it's a directory, I return. If it's not a directory, I open it and then now everything is good. And you could see I'm testing that here by removing um, the directory. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope um, this sort of makes sense to you. Um, again, we just look explore where's that stat. It's going to be the same once you have a file and you call file that stat is going to give you the same um, set of information. We didn't look at all the information you can get it like the file. But what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to modify how we look at how we open a file. And we don't want to just open it for read writing only, but we might want to append to keep growing our file. Again, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already spread the word, click the thumbs up, and, you know, keep watching. Take care. See you in the next video.